Hey everyone, it is the Drive to School podcast. I'm Pastor Goodman, the content executive of Higher Things, and we are going to be talking about the things that you'll see in church on Sunday. And well, if you're a Lutheran, you're probably going to be seeing red. It's Reformation Day. It is a celebration of the day that Martin Luther nailed 95 theses to the door of the Roman Catholic Church and broke it. He, he, he broke the church. We, we are fractured now. There's this awful, filthy word called denomination. We have decided we can't share heaters, let alone pastors, because we believe differently. The, the Reformation was not simply because we wanted to have options when it comes to which church to go to. It was not simply because we wanted to be able to build a church that looks like the things that we like. That's actually called idolatry, and that's not right. The gospel reading, though, actually helps us sort of steer this away from making it about me and what I want, and or me and about well, how I was right, or even Luther and about how he was right. It makes it about Jesus, which is actually what this whole thing was founded on. Uh, our gospel reading that you will probably here in church today is from John chapter 8 beginning at verse 31. We'll actually read it this time. Here we go. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And they answered him, we are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. This is the word of the Lord. And I will spare you now pretending to be a real historian like every other pastor will this coming Sunday because we watched a movie or maybe read a book, hopefully read a book, hopefully read a book. But really, we're going to talk about Jesus because Jesus came into this world not simply to provide us options, not simply to provide us a chance to choose which church to go to. Luther did not begin this thing that got way bigger than he ever imagined it would have because he wanted to break the church, but rather he wanted the church to be about Jesus for sinners because anyone who commits a sin is a slave to sin. These sins that bog us down, these sins that we have to hide, these sins that we begin to identify with and identify as, these sins that start to own us and how we see ourselves, these are the things that we need to address because these are the things that are killing us. But that you would know the truth, the way, the truth, the life, the Jesus, you would be free. It is the truth that... Our hope is not founded in getting better. Our hope is not founded in trying harder. Our hope is not found in morality or behaving or even converting the rest of the world. Our hope is found in Christ, who has died upon the cross to save sinners like me, sinners like you, sinners like Luther, sinners like the whole world. It is this that the church is founded upon, not an institution for an institution's sake, not wealth, not power, not money, not any of those things, but simply Jesus given for sinners. This truth that Jesus came into the world to conquer sin by dying on the cross and rising again from the grave, that you would freely, apart from anything that you could ever do to earn it, to buy it, to win it, gives you salvation, makes you his child in the waters of your baptism. This is what Reformation Day is all about. It is Jesus given for sinners. It is the gospel for you. And so when you go into church and you hear a little bit about Luther and you wonder why it actually matters 500 some odd years after it actually happened, it's because church should be about Jesus. Church should be about mercy. Church is rooted in the forgiveness of sins won by Jesus, given to you in mercy. And this, this is where we stand.